Hello friends, a great welcome to my channel. I know all of you are very busy with the preparations. How is the preparation going on? Please do tell me in comments. And side by side, do not forget to keep a watch on other universities' question papers as well. Many universities are conducting entrance examinations prior to CUET. Tejpur University has already conducted the exam and today we are going to analyze this question paper. Let us understand the seat matrix. There are in total 63 seats. Eligibility should have been bachelor's degree with major at least 45% marks and without major at least 50% marks. And this is the entrance examination that has been conducted recently. The exam was conducted on 28 May. Anyone who appeared for it, a great best of luck from my side. These are the help desk numbers of universities where you can approach in case you are facing any issue. Let us talk first about the paper level. Paper level of literature part, according to my students, was very easy, but GK and descriptive part were a little tough. There was a question about Thomas Hardy's fictional town and please keep telling me the answers in comments. If you know the answers of these questions, please do tell me in comments. Thomas Hardy's fictional town. There was a question about who paint elegy written in a country churchyard. Then there was a question about the writer of origin of species. Who wrote Lysidas? Who wrote Confessions of an English Opium Eater? There was a question about the fourth book of Gulliver's Travels. And there was a question about World War II ending year. And these were the questions in descriptive part, dramatic monologue, Indian English writing, Victorian period. Any one you were supposed to write. Let us see the marking convention, 60 for objective and 40 for descriptive. So this much could be recalled from the memory of the aspirants. If anyone knows any other question, please do tell me in comments. And also tell me, are you happy with these questions? And anyone who knew all the questions, all the questions mentioned, at least in this video, 100% is your score. Please raise your hands in comments. Let us talk about the university now. It is uh, situated at a very good location, nice location and has a pretty nice weather throughout the year. This is what I got the feedback from last year's students. Overall, um, I'll say this university is perfect in terms of infrastructure. People even say that infrastructure can be compared even to IIT and IIM. So good location, good weather and good faculties. You can try to go for it. Tejpur University, one of the premier higher education institutions of India that was established in 1994 at uh, under Tejpur University Act 1993 and the university is residential and quite unique in nature, currently offering 73, approximately 73 academic programs through 22 departments under the School of um, Engineering, Humanity, Social Science, Management and Sciences. So overall, I'll suggest this is a good university. One should try for it. A great best of luck to everyone who appeared for this exam and whom server is going to appear for the upcoming entrance exams. Best of luck for your results.